What do you reckon? How does that look? I think that's pretty good actually. Pretty good. simple with this uh, wagon wheel. Um, it's all obviously raw ingredients, um, so stick along and I'll show you how to make it. And with this wagon wheel, um, we're going to have to start with our uh, centre first, which is going to be like, like a jam consistency. So what I've got here, I've got some um, frozen raspberries here. I've also got some maple syrup, just to get a bit of a sweetness. And what I've got here is some cheese seeds. Now these cheese seeds, they're going to help it become that little bit more gluggy, take the uh, liquid away. So, nice and easy. Chuck them into our bowl. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to mix it and mush it with our fork. And what will happen, these cheese seeds, they'll take in the liquid and make it a real nice thick consistency. So what we'll do, we'll set that aside and next, we're going to get onto our biscuit component. I'm going to show you one more thing before I do the biscuit. It's the best part. It's the actual marshmallow filling. So what I'll do first, I'll get onto this marshmallow filling, and then we're going to put that in the freezer for a little bit. And yes, and then we'll get onto the biscuit. So with our marshmallow filling, very very easy with this one. We're just going to put all the ingredients in this food processor, vitamizer. Um, so what we've got here, we've got some coconut. What I've got here, I've got some coconut oil with a bit of vanilla essence down the bottom there. I've got some maple syrup. I've got some milk. What I've got here, I've got some coconut milk. And what I've got here, you're supposed to soak the cashews for a couple of hours, but you can speed up the process by just putting some boiling water on for about half an hour. So I'll spritz these off. Put them in. Get it processed. It's going to be a bit noisy, so just hang on. And what we're after, the beautiful, soft, smooth consistency. And what'll happen is with the coconut milk, uh, coconut oil, sorry, it'll help uh, stiffen that up. Now what we've got here, we're gonna start making the biscuit filling for the uh, uh, wagon wheels. Um, it's pretty easy, this is four simple ingredients for this. Um, what we've got, we've got some um, buckwheat, buckwheat flour, and this is all, again, so we're gonna go all into the food processor. We've got some armor meal, and we have some Simple oats. All right, with all the ingredients in this cup here, we're gonna uh, put it in the food processor and we're gonna get it so it all becomes together like just a fine like flour consistency. Shake, check it out. Perfect. And what we want to do here, we want to add some really good quality dates here. Um, they are quite big and large, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my time, I'm going to cut these up. So just give me a few minutes and I'll cut them up for us. All right, with that done, I'm going to put the Laid back on, give it a bit of a shake. And we, what we want to get here, we just want to get these all mixed up together to make like a biscuit consistency. That's pretty good. So what I've got here, I've got two bits of baking paper. And what we're going to do, we're going to roll out our mixture. So we're going to grab it out of this little container. Roll it up a little bit so we get it nice and sticky together. Just 
to get in between our two bits of paper and just give it a bit of a roll out. That's a good, that's probably good, oh, probably nearly three quarters of a centimetre if you, if you want to look at it that way. And what we're going to do, we're going to get our cookie cutter and we're going to cut out some little biscuits. Nice and thin and yeah what we're what we're going to do is going to put these together and obviously it will come together like a little wagon wheel. That's got my plate here. Put it on here. So as you can see, it's all finished. I've got a good eight out of that. Um, Depending whatever size you want to do, it's got a little bit left over. So this is going to go in the fridge for 10 minutes to harden up. And then what we'll do, we'll bring them out and we'll uh, assemble these and I'll show you how it's done. So what I've got here, I've got my number one fan. She absolutely loves my cooking. She's my number one fan, aren't she? So what we've got here, we're going to make the chocolate, uh, I suppose, chocolate coating that's going to go around our wagon wheel. So pretty easy this one. I've done it heaps before with other videos but what we've got is some cocoa, coconut oil and maple syrup. So don't forget I've got other videos that has got beautiful nice raw uh, treats as well. Check down below, check all the other videos that I've got. Don't forget to subscribe. I really would love to see all those comments about you making them yourselves. Gives me some feedback. So yeah so what we've got here we've got our cocoa Maple syrup, coconut oil, and what I'm going to do, chuck this on, and because it's quite powerful, I'm just going to do it in intermittently, get that word right, I'm just going to just pulsate it, um, so I'm going to pulsate it, so it doesn't sort of, because when sometimes when you've got your um, coconut oil, it's a bit warm, it will, um, it will split. So see how we go with this. Quick check. Yeah, that's perfect. Exactly what we want. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to bring out the biscuits that have been in the fridge for 10 minutes. I'll bring them out and I'll start assembling them. So I had a little bit of an experiment with the marshmallow. Um, what I've had to do, I've actually added a little bit of tapioca powder, uh, flour. I probably added probably half a cup because what I found is that it was really, really runny still, the uh, marshmallow stuff. So what I've done, I've added some of that, still really raw and organic. And what we do, we're going to put this into our piping bag. Just you can buy these at a local supermarket. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pipe this on. But what we're going to do, we're going to leave a little well in the middle, just like that. And why do you leave the well? And why do we leave the well? Well, well, well. <laughs> What we're going to do is going to put some of that raspberry jam in the middle. Raspberry is really nice. This chia seeds has really made it really nice and thick and, cons and beautiful consistency now. So what we're going to do, put a little bit in the middle of each one. Then we put our other side back on, give it a little bit of a swish, squish. And what I'm going to do with that now, I'm just going to put this in the fridge for another 10 minutes just to set it that little bit more. And then what we'll do, we will get our chocolate sauce that we made earlier, just before. 
and we're going to cover it. So what I've got here, I've got my beautiful chocolate mixture. What we're going to do is we're slowly pour it on. What the aim is to do is to, to cover it all. I'm just gonna chuck them straight in. Look at that, absolutely perfect. How good does that look, guys? So, what we're gonna do, I do have a little bit left over. I'm gonna put these straight into the freezer. And if something's a little, if something has fallen off a little bit, I'm just gonna use this to touch it up. So what we'll do, we'll chuck in the freezer and I will bring them out and show how good they are at the end. What do you reckon? I think they look pretty good. I think they look better than the actual original ones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut one in half. What do you reckon? How does that look? I think that's pretty good actually. Pretty good. It's exactly like the original wagon wheel. Mm. That's a lot healthier too, I think. It's raw. It's organic. Absolutely beautiful. So, what, what I'll get you to do, make them for me. Show, show me how they turn out. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. See ya. annoying me.